Hey there all you good people, I'm Joe from Joe's Computer Museum. At the start of this series, I solved my K-Pro's mystery and restored it to original functionality. But what good is it without software? Today I'll show you how to transfer programs to the K-Pro and have some fun. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. So now we have a working K-Pro. If we want to use it though, we have to get some software to it. We can download whole disk images. That really only works for operating system disks though. We already know how to do that, so I won't show it again. We can copy files to floppies using MS-DOS as a go-between. Most software you find online is distributed as individual files, not disk images, so this will be the most used option. We can also copy files directly using a serial cable in Kermit to skip the floppy step. Straight from the internet to the K-Pro. Let's look at copying files to floppies. This is our starter case, assuming we have nothing but a basic CPM disk and no other software. To do it, we need a machine that runs old-fashioned MS-DOS. My Windows 98 Frankenstein works perfectly for this. I also need a 360K 5.25 inch floppy drive. I borrowed this one from my IBM 5150. You must set the machine BIOS correctly for the 360K drive. Wrong settings will make the floppy drive thrash the read head and you have to have a nifty program called 22disk. Link in the description. It also helps to know your way around MS-DOS. This beast is all command line. Then just download what you want, boot your machine into DOS, set up 22disk correctly for the K-Pro, pop the files on the disk, and you're gold. If you want to avoid swapping floppies, Kermit in a null modem serial cable is what you want. First, you need to get the Kermit source files to your K-Pro by using the floppy method. Then you have to perform a build to create the program from the sources. There's a link in the description with the exact details on this process. Once you have Kermit running on the K-Pro, just send the files over and you're set. Now I found Kermit to be unreliable. No two clients on the modern computer behave the same under similar circumstances, so I've just stuck to the floppy method. Your mileage may vary. Now that we can get programs to the K-Pro, what can we do? How about a round of Catch'em, a Pac-Man clone? Maybe you could try our hand at a session of Zork. I wonder if I can do a little basic programming on it. One of the big things I wanted to try was using the K-Pro as a Unix terminal. So let's hook up the Mac to the K-Pro with a serial cable. Start term on the K-Pro. Start the terminal on the Mac, give it the right command, and we're in. Let's make sure both sides can see each other. Now give the Mac terminal the right commands and here we are, remoted into the Mac over serial from the K-Pro. It's not automatic, but it does work. At least I know if I ever want to automate it for some reason, it is possible. I wonder, can we write up a document and print it out? This has been amazing! From a barely functional oddball hybrid to my restored 8-bit jewel, I've seen my K-Pro through a renaissance. I'm glad I took the time to dust it off and get it up and running again, and I'm proud to have it as part of my collection. As I bring this series to a close, I wonder what other magic I could do with my K-Pro. I could mod it with a custom ROM, or maybe swap the floppy drives out for Compact Flash. Maybe download an alternative OS. There are plenty of options there, but those are for another series. If you have any ideas, send them to me in the comments and I'll see what I can cook up. Well, that's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button or subscribe, and remember, 8 bits are all you need. I got this case from 2007 or 2008 or so. Uh, a local guy called into our computer shop and uh, he was looking to get rid of an old computer. He's wondering if we recycle computers. And I happened to ask him, so what kind of computer it was? Because, you know, I'm always on the lookout for something now. The hardware, just click that thing there to jump ahead. So let's talk about the backup process. K-Pros use pretty standard floppy technology, so we can use a DOS or Windows PC to copy and restore disk images. All you need is the right imaging software, the right hardware, and some luck. First, you'll need a PC. Look at this. Computers on the floor everywhere. There's my IBM and tools strewn about and everything. Man, fixing 8-bit computers, it can be a dirty job.